Hi everybody, let's see what the upcoming weekend has in store for you. It could be about love, finances, events, trips, anything. Please subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Let's begin. This spread is for all earth signs. Perhaps your story is in here, but there is also a separate spread just for your sign. Timestamps should be in the description box down below. We have the Queen of Cups, we have the Sun, we have uh, the Six of Wands, clarified by the Three of Cups, and we also have the Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. You could also be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Well, this is some sort of a celebration. Seriously, you guys are celebrating something, some sort of a victory, success, or you're just feeling great, you're just feeling happy about what's happening. For some of you, you could be getting together with your co-workers and celebrating um, a merger, celebrating a, receiving a contract or a, completion, or a successful completion of a project. If you're into sports, perhaps your team is winning and you're going to be celebrating that. If you are a Taurus <laughs> watching this and it's your birthday this weekend, then you guys are celebrating your birthday. Well, happy birthday. Um, yeah, definitely good times, right? So we got the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands, you know, and uh, I don't think neither one of those queens uh, represent you. You're the Queen or the King of Pentacles, right? And uh, I'm sure you're in this <laughs> together with them. Um, we have the Sun right next to the Queen of Cups, it's the happiest card in the deck. And then we have the Six of Wands clarified by the Three of Cups. The Six of Wands is a card of victory, success, recognition, or this is a card of feeling great about what's happening. And uh, the Three of Cups clarifying it is a card of a celebration, you know. So yeah, I don't know what you're celebrating, if you're tour it's probably your birthday or you could be celebrating pretty much anything. I already kind of went through different scenarios, but this is definitely a celebration with a whole bunch of people, all right? Cool. Taurus, um, we have the Two of Wands clarified by the Hermit, uh, we have the Eight of Pentacles clarified by the Six of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Pentacles, and we also have the Hierophant on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, you're going to be doing a lot of thinking Taurus, over the waking about your work, about your business, about your financial situation. I'm not saying it's terrible, no. It kind of feels like you're making plans for the future, right? Uh, perhaps you're thinking of changing things around, you're thinking about how you can start making more money and what you need to do for that. For some of you, you could be taking classes, for others of you, it could be changing jobs, for others of you, it could be changing your career altogether. Um, perhaps you're thinking about starting your own business or you're thinking about starting a side gig which could potentially become your main source of income. I'm not saying that's all you're going to be doing, thinking about your work business and finances, but this is definitely going to be on your mind, like heavily on your mind. Right, uh, the the hierophant on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right. That is you, Taurus. That is your personal card. That is your major arcana card, and it's always a good sign to have your own card in your own reading. Right, that means you're the one initiating it uh, for whatever reason. Uh, you may know better than I do. Uh, the first card that came out is the two of ones, and it's clarified by the hermit. So with the two of ones, this is you standing right there making future plans. The two of ones, it could be you deciding what you need to do. Perhaps you already have ideas. Perhaps you already have different paths that you thought of that you can take. Right? And uh, with the hermit card clarifying the two of ones, this is you doing a lot of thinking, a lot of soul searching. You know, just trying to get to the bottom of it, trying to understand what you need to do. Um, and what you're thinking about is the eight, well, the remaining three cards is what you're thinking about. <laughs> the eight of pentacles. Clarified by the Six of Pentacles, those two and the Nine of Pentacles are all three are bus work, business, and finances spreads, right? The Nine of Pentacles, as a, as, a, as a matter of fact, is one of the best cards you can potentially get when it comes to work, business, and finances. The Nine of Pentacles, this is the end game. This is what you're thinking about. This is what you're trying to reach, that you're trying to accomplish that Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is success. Financial success, financial stability, financial independence. This is a card of somebody who's got money in the bank, somebody who is doing really good. So you're trying to get there. Perhaps you're already doing good and you're just thinking as to what you need to do next, right? What is the next phase of your life? Um, how do you get, what do you need to do now? 
That's what you're doing. That's what you're thinking about. The Eight of Pentacles clarified by the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, this is a card of work, business, and finances. And the Six of Pentacles, uh, it's kind of similar to the Two of Wands. This is you, you know, weighing all pros and cons, trying to figure out your next steps. All right, cool. Virgo, we have the world, we have the Four of Swords, we have the Nine of Cups, and we also have the Hangman on the bottom of the deck. Well, I didn't want to have to clarify anything, Virgo, because this spread is about a person who is doing absolutely nothing, which is unheard of <laughs> for a Virgo. And I'm saying it with love. Nobody works harder than a Virgo. <laughs> you guys are workaholics. That's the way you guys are. Um, but this weekend is all about you. You know, you're going to unplug, you're going to relax. Perhaps you're on vacation. Or you just don't want to deal with anybody. I'm not saying this is all you're going to do throughout the whole weekend. But you're definitely taking one day for yourself. Right? You're doing what's good for you. You're doing you. <laughs> the world, the first card I came out. Every once in a while this card represents uh, some place remote. So that could be you traveling. Or perhaps you're already at that remote location. And uh, that remote location could be a half an hour away from where you live. Or it could be... A five-hour flight from where you live, right? The world could also be a card of an ending. Um, perhaps you had a really hard week at work and it finally came to an end and now you're deciding to unplug, just chill, relax. Perhaps uh, you just recently um, finished, perhaps you just recently quit a, uh, quit a job and uh, you're starting a new job the following Monday or in a couple of weeks but in between the two jobs you decided to take some time off to recuperate recharge right then uh, the four of swords in the middle this is you doing absolutely nothing perhaps you're somewhere by the beach and um, you know sipping on some of the adult beverages I don't encourage that but you could be doing that or you could just be laying down watching TV watching movies Right, uh, the Nine of Cups right next to the deck, this is a card of a wish come true or a card of personal satisfaction and fulfillment. Right, so like I said, you're doing you. You see, in every single card on the table, we only have one person, right? In the world, the Four of Swords, the Nine of Cups, and the Hangman. There's only one person in every single card. The Hangman on the bottom of the deck, this is a card of uh, stagnation, nothing happening. So yeah, every once in a while, Virgo, you definitely can and probably should uh, take some time off and just relax. And that's, I think, what you're doing this weekend. All right? Cool. Capricorn. Uh, we have the Moon clarified by the Five of Cups. We have the Six of Cups clarified by the Knight of Cups. We have the Nine of Wands clarified by the Queen of Pentacles. And we also have the Sun on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or a Leo. Somebody is going to come back and try to get back into your good graces, uh, Capricorn, over the weekend. So you're basically uh, dealing with an ex. And it could be somebody from a, a month ago, a couple of months ago, a year ago, I, I don't know. <laughs> um, they miss you. They really do. And they love you. They really do. <laughs> Um, the, the moon, the first card I came out is, um, is a Pisces card, this person could be a Pisces, or the moon is, uh, you know, it's one of the most emotional cards in the uh, tarot deck. It's clarified by the five of cups, so those two cards kind of amplify the whole idea of this person missing you a lot. All right, in this case, the moon, is the, this is them hauling at the moon, uh, this is them, you know, going through it, being very emotional about it. And the Five of Cups, that card always has to do with the past. That card usually talks about somebody who misses the past, grieves the past, regrets the past, thinks about the past. Um, so here they come. The Six of Cups, that's the next card that came out, is a card of somebody coming back from the past. And it's clarified by the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Or the Knight of Cups. Um, so yeah, if this person is a Pisces, it makes total sense. Uh, but the Knight of Cups is the Knight in the Shining Armor. It usually represents somebody who's uh, got genuine, authentic love for the person they're moving towards. So yeah, if this person tells you they are in love with you, they're telling you the truth. All right? And uh, you're not going to be welcoming this person back into your life with open arms. We have the Nine of Wands clarified by the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles, that would be you, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. And the Nine of Wands is a card of a wounded warrior. This is a card of somebody who doesn't trust 
the person they're dealing with so you definitely do not trust this individual uh, this is you kind of putting up a wall between yourself and them this is not a flat-out rejection but you're you definitely do not trust this person so this person's got their work cut out for them if they want to get back into your good graces, right? Mm -hmm. The sun on the bottom of the deck uh, is the personal Leo card. You could be dealing with a Leo. Or the sun is um, actually one of the happiest cards on the deck. But I think in this case, the sun is also a card of clarity. And I always like when the moon and the sun come out in the same spread, especially if the moon was one of the first cards that comes out and it is the first card that came out what that usually means is with the moon you're kinda like uncertain about this uh, you have fears you don't know what you're gonna do but with the sun card you will eventually gain that clarity as to what you wanna do here right whereas your initial response oh, I don't know I don't think I should do this I don't trust this person so I don't know what's gonna come out of this at the end but you will be crystal clear with the sun card what you need to do all right cool and there you have it I hope my readings resonated with you and if they did I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.